portable camping gas stove. This is how it came delivered. That's what you'll need. 200, 250 size uh, gas butane canister to fit this. When you buy, or when you're looking, you will see the specifications for that. And I uh, got a little bit confused earlier. So um, I'm just going to show people what I'm looking at doing today. I've actually used it, so not what I'm looking at doing. I've actually done a pre-trial run and cooked some eggs on it. And it works rather well. You've got a gas canister lock switched. I'll show you that in a minute. And then your ignition and gas volume, intensity, flow control there. Very simple interface. It's come with this upside down. So you would need to simply lift it. You see your uh, mounts there for the pans. Put that in like that. Then there's no locking mechanism for the gas canister compartment. I just simply lift that up. And you've got this little curious device here, shield of sorts. So what I worked out with this is you need to pinch. There are some slots you will see there. And I've got to pinch these. And then that goes up like that and flips over. So it's a, it's a guard, a heat guard for the butane that I'm going to put in in a moment in here. There's like a little uh, spring loaded mechanism here. All right, and then simply by pressing this control, you will see the tray moves to press the gas canister into the input nozzle underneath this little notch here. So on your gas cans, you will see there is a little notch locating hole to, uh, to fit these in with. So we'll take that off and we're gonna be able to do this with one hand. Align the gas can with the notch so it fits in as so. Okay, it's a spring loaded, spring loaded mechanism there. So what I've done earlier, famously, is get the nozzle into the little input device there. Okay, and then as we do the lock lever that I've just showed you, my finger on there, and as I press down on the lever, that's all the way down and clicked, it's in position, the butane gas can is locked in position, the heat guard is on, close the compartment, I would like to say I accept no liability for incorrectly and incorrectly used an installed mobile camping van life off-grid gas burners you would need to look at the directions given there and also with the case that it came in you would need to read the instruction manual for your portable gas stove and use it accordingly with the correct size gas canisters types of gas and everything like that so you wouldn't cook on the carpet just thought it'd be easier down there, but uh, it's less slippery on the side. So that's it, ready to go. As simple as four minutes twenty-one in. Okay, other brands are available. This was bought off um, off an online store, and I got uh, the mid-range one. The worst one's cheaper than this brand. It is certified as well. It's been tested and qualified to be safe. And then simply now, with your control there off. Would we'll turn it till it clicks. Full burn, and then I will turn it down to the lowest setting, and it's gone off. So you click it again, reignite, and click it, uh, turn it till you've got it on a reasonably low setting, and away you go, cooking. Five minutes in, 
If any of you do get one of these stoves and you do need uh, further help setting it up, I hope this video has been some use to you. And thank you very much. If gas prices are to continue to rise and uh, we're going to have issues with how much we pay per unit of gas. Remember even using this you've still got your standing charge for your boxes, your meters. Talk about that right now but that'll be for another video when we're live we'll discuss that. This is just a simple self-help installation video for mobile portable van life off-grid gas camping stoves i hope you've enjoyed it and i will see you soon watch out for your notifications i will try and uh, let you know in advance when we're going live when casts are going to be happening and um, for now i would like to say ciao bello much love stay sovereign and we will see you very very soon much love bless up